On this episode of the show, we're going to talk about reasons you would want to contest a will. Creating wealth, protecting families, building legacy. This is the Rich Life Lawyer Show. Hey everybody, this is episode 73 of the Rich Life Lawyer Show. I am Christopher Small. I am the host. I'm the owner of CMS Law Firm. And I'm here to you to talk to you today about why you might want to contest a will. Now, um, there are several reasons why you might want to contest a will. Most of the time, to sort of get just straight into strategy on why you might want to do that, is if you were not left something that you think um, um, and the person wanted to leave you or that you were entitled to, then and without the will, you'll get more, then you may want to consider contesting the will. But you're only going to want to contest the will if there are some certain um, things uh, available for you to use to contest the will. All right, now, number one, if the will was not properly executed, then you would definitely want to consider uh, contesting the will. What makes a, a will not properly executed is if it's not signed by the deceased person, if there aren't the two signatures of witnesses, um, those are two really big things that would sort of call into question whether or not the will itself is valid and whether it was executed correctly. You may want to contest that because if it wasn't, then there's a potential that the, that a judge could kick out the will. And if the judge kicks out the will, then you go into the intestate laws, which may uh, provide you with more uh, assets as an heir under the law. The second reason you may want to contest the will is if there was undue influence on the person that's signing the will. This can happen um, in many, many different ways. Uh, let me give you an example that's sort of far-fetched, but will kind of set the, set the tone for what I'm talking about. Let's say that the, the deceased person did something bad, okay, somewhere, and someone knew about that. And they said, look, I'm gonna expose these bad things that you did unless you leave me a hundred, hundred grand, hundred thousand dollars in your will. Okay, if you could prove that that happened, there's undue influence there, and there's the potential for a judge to throw out the will. That's a valid reason to contest the will. The third reason, which sort of goes to undue influence in a way, is simply that the deceased person lacked the mental capacity to execute the will at the time that they did. Now, this happens more frequently than you might imagine. Let's say someone has Alzheimer's or dementia or is just old and doesn't really understand what's going on. If they have a will put in front of them and they sign it, but they don't really understand um, what the will is, uh, what it does, who the assets are going to, then there is likely a valid reason to contest that will. And again, if a judge finds that those things happen, then there is a, a, a significant likelihood that the judge will throw out the will, which means you can either, depending on what the circumstances are, look to an older will potentially, or use the laws of intestate succession to distribute the assets to the heirs that are in line to get those assets. So those are the reasons why you might want to contest a will. I think pretty soon, maybe in the next video, we're going to talk about reasons why you don't want to contest a will. And we'll get to that when we get to it. If you believe that you have a valid reason to contest a will, and you are looking for help, then please call me, 206-659-1512. If, um, you can also email me, chris at cmslawfirm.com, and I'll just leave you with this final thought, is that uh, when it comes to will contests, sometimes there's the potential to work out an arrangement where we only get paid if the will contest goes through. So if you're low on funds, but you feel like a, a great travesty has been done, then please call and, and, and at least talk to us and uh, I would love to see if I can help you out. All right, thank you for your time, and I will talk to you soon.